Hello and welcome back to Your Kingdom Kids, where we tell the Bible using fun object lessons and experiments that you can do at home. Today we're going to continue on with the book of Acts chapter 9, where we find a man who is trying to arrest and kill Christians, but after one supernatural encounter with Jesus, he's completely transformed and you'll be surprised who he actually is. So stay tuned. Okay, go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn with me to Acts chapter 9. And once you're there, we're going to find a man named Saul, who actually goes by a different name, which we'll get to later. But Saul was trying to persecute and threaten and even arrest and maybe even kill early Christians. He was so utterly convinced that Jesus was a fraud that he thought he was doing the right thing and protecting the Jewish people. But something incredible happened to him. While he was walking to a town called Damascus, a light from heaven confronted him and shone down on him. And suddenly he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And a voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Can you imagine you're Saul and you're utterly convinced you are doing the right thing, that Jesus is a fake. And then all of a sudden he comes to you in a vision and you're like, wait a minute, was I wrong? I'm not sure, right? The men with Saul stood speechless, for they heard the sound of someone's voice, but saw no one. Saul picked himself up off the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he was blind. So his companions led him by the hand to Damascus. He remained there blind for three days and did not eat or drink. Now, at the same time, the Lord speaks to a man named Ananias and tells him to go to a specific place and that he's going to find a man named Saul, and he's supposed to lay hands on him and pray for him and heal his eyes. But Ananias is like, wait a minute, you mean Saul, like the guy who's trying to arrest people, he probably arrested some of his friends, and he's like, wait a minute, God, that sounds like a terrible idea. But the Lord said, go, for Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to kings, as well as to the people of Israel, and I will show him how much he must suffer for my so Ananias went and found Saul. He laid hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, has sent me to you that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instantly, something like scales fell off of Saul's eyes and he regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptized. I mean, can you imagine this guy who was trying to arrest and kill anyone who believed in Jesus all of a sudden becomes a Christian? I mean, that would be an incredible, amazing sight. So Saul stayed with the believers in Damascus for a few days and immediately began preaching about Jesus in the synagogue, saying he is indeed the Son of God. And all of the people who heard him were completely stunned. They knew that he hated Christians. They knew that he was trying to arrest them. And then all of a sudden, just like that, he becomes a Christian, they knew that something real must have happened to him. But not everyone was real happy about Paul's teaching. See, the people who were just like him didn't want him preaching because he was convincing so many people that Jesus was real. In verse 24, they were watching him day and night at the city gates so they could murder him. But Saul was told about their plot. So during the night, some of the other believers lowered him down in a large basket through an opening in the city wall. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers, but they were afraid of him. They did not believe he had truly become a believer. Then Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told him how Saul had seen the Lord on his way to Damascus and how the Lord had spoken to Saul. He also told them that Saul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. So Saul stayed with the apostles and went around Jerusalem with them, boldly preaching in the name of Jesus. So a few chapters later, Saul has a name change and goes from Saul to the Apostle Paul, someone who I'm sure you know very well, and even wrote a huge portion of the New Testament. It's incredible, all because he encountered Jesus. So now we're going to do an object lesson to show just how Saul becomes a new creation and completely transformed. To do this, you will need two eggs, a container, vinegar, and quite a bit of time. Here we have an egg, 
and this represents Saul. It has a hard exterior, and as the Bible tells us, Saul was not kind to Christians. In fact, he wanted to kill them. But on his way to arrest Christians, Jesus encounters Saul, and this encounter is represented by our vinegar here. And we're gonna pour the vinegar over our egg, and this encounter with Jesus left him blind for three days. And we're going to soak this egg for several days, just like what happened in the story. And after three days, Ananias prayed for Saul and the scales fell off of his eyes. And as you can see here, after the egg is soaked in vinegar for several days, the hard exterior falls off and it is completely transformed into something new. From Saul to Paul. You'll definitely want to try this at home and if you're going to do this for Sunday school, make sure you do it ahead of time so that way you have the egg all ready to show the kids they're going to be completely stunned. And don't forget to click down below into our description for links to other videos and click that subscribe button as well as the bell so that way you'll never miss another video. We always release them on Friday mornings. Hope you have a great day.